This is Rock Jam Man is with Riggs from Scum of the Earth. How you doing, man? Hey, doing good. How's life treating you? Oh, same old, same old. Living the dream. So what made you want to call yourself the scum of the earth? Uh, when I was a kid, uh, that's what people would call me. Why? Because I was a dirty, poor kid. Did you go to like a rich private school or something? No, there's the other dirty, poor kids calling me that, but you know, they just, they just look, the clothes were cleaner than mine, I guess. So they're just basically just saying, they're just saying their name and just calling you their name, basically? Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, when I got older, I started using it for my thing, kind of, you know, I'll show them kind of thing. Yeah. And look who's talking now. Look who's talking. Yeah. Yeah. I just got done listening to your new song, Ziggurats of Mesopotamia, and it was awesome. Ah, thanks. Glad you dig it. So, this song is about the moon god Nana? Uh, no. That'd be a cool one, though. Okay. That's the first cigarette, though. Yeah, I just... It's kind of a smorgasbord, a mixed match of all kinds of stuff. I kind of twisted the story around and made it about, uh, you know, like uh, the aliens that live on the face oh, on Mars. Yeah. Okay. Did you know well, that? Uh, did you know that ziggurats are made out of mud baked bricks? Nope, I did not know that. So what got you into the theme of this new track? Uh, I don't know, just a long time ago, way back in the early 1990s, I was doing some ancient alien songs and people didn't didn't quite understand it or get it, thought it was dumb. And then now it seems to be a more popular subject people are into, so I was had a bunch of lyrics left over from you know 30 years ago and just started putting them down in songs and i just i mix them up a lot that's why the ziggurats and the the bigfoot song you know about the anunnakis and stuff aren't you know very accurate to how people talk about them but just cool subject matter sure uh, do you believe in aliens? Oh, yeah, totally. So this is your uh, song for the new record label. How did you hook up with them? Uh, and I just, I ran into Denny, is his name, several years ago. And then we just kept in touch and I don't know he just had the idea to release that song Dance Motherfucker and that's the first one they put out when can we expect an entire album I don't know it's up to them I have enough songs for a whole album but I don't know it just seems like people don't really care about whole albums anymore like everybody streams songs so I just go with the flow. If they want a whole album, I got it. And then if they want to do one song at a time, that's fine also. So you made an NFT for the song? Yeah, somebody did. And they're, they're oh, go ahead. Um, what is an NFT? Like a digital artwork that you can buy stuff with like Bitcoin? Kind of. It's kind of like cryptocurrency. You know, you you buy them and they go into your digital wallet, you know, like on your phone. And then you can sell them to other people. And 
as kind of like cryptocurrency. Can I pay enough deeds for McDonald's? NFTs? Uh, I don't know. Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the monkey ones are like the famous now, the most famous. These monkey ones. I've been like seeing one, but I didn't really know what they were. It was like a monkey picture. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen all kinds of just goofy, goofy ones. And yeah, it's not really my thing, but. Is that for you or? Ah, I'm at my tattoo shop. Okay. Yeah, we, had, we don't open for another hour, but. Now, let's talk about how you first hooked up with Rob Zombie. How did you two first hook up? Uh, I, way back in the day, I was playing guitar for Prong. And then Prong was, I was just doing live guitar for them. And Prong and Pantera and White Zombie were all managed by the same management company. So everybody was just kind of aware of everybody what was it like working with him it was fun it was good now were you like why are why are we ditching white zombie for this new band no i think they were i think they were done is he always Rob Zombie, or did you get to hang out with Robert Cummings when you were off stage? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, the same dude. <laughs> the cool guy. Always cool, no matter what his name was. You were, you were on some of the best work and some of the amazing guitar tracks. Did you ever write the guitar? Uh, guitar parts for the songs like Drangula and Living Dead Girl because these are awesome? Yeah. They would just start off with like, you know, a vocal idea or a drum loop or something. And I would just sit there and jam a riff until somebody's like, hey, that sounds good. You must get some fax uh, checks from those songs because they are still played all the time. Yeah, I don't think you get much money from music anymore. When writing Dragula, were you uh, like, are we really going to making a rock song about a TV monster car? <laughs> uh, no, I thought it was cool. Okay. I love the monsters. The, the weirder the songs are, the better. Oh, all right. I mean, I so we were like, yo, a cool vampire truck? Deal. Let's get this started already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we tried to get the Dragula to make the video, and I can't remember what happened. It was like in China or something. It was like held up in customs, so we ended up getting the other Munster's car, the Munster's coach, and used that in there. What made you leave the band? Uh, I don't know. Rob just called one day and said he wanted to <clears throat> focus on making movies, and yeah, you know, he's like, just, "You just go do your own thing, and I'm gonna do my own thing." So this is when he was. So um, he left you so he can make the how. Well, you left to make the well. He left, but to make the House of the A Thousand Dead, and like like Devil Rejects. Yeah, he already did the House of a Thousand Corpses, and then he was going to start working on Devil's Rejects. I think he had a lot of movie ideas he wanted to do. Hey, just things happen, I guess, sometimes, right? Yeah. Just life. Would you ever join again if he asked? Yeah, totally. So John Five took your place. Do you think he does a good job of playing your tracks? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. He's really good. He's now, a lot better than I am. <laughs> He's not better than me, though. Oh, He's geez. not better than you. <laughs> 
Now, John 5 left Marilyn Manson to join Rob Zombie. What are the chances of you playing the guitar for Manson when he finally tours again? <laughs> I don't know. If you ask me, I'd, I'd probably do it. I really, I really like their music. I've known those guys for a long time. And, uh, yeah, I'd do it. That'd be fun. What's your favorite Rob Zombie movie? A Rob Zombie movie. I don't know. I haven't seen the Adams Family or the Adams Family, the Munsters yet. So maybe that would be my favorite one. Okay. Looking forward to that one. Did you see the trailers for the Munsters? Yeah, I saw one. It looked pretty funny. What is your honest opinion of it? Of what? The trailer? Yes. Like, the, just the thing, like the movie showing it. What do you think? I thought it looked good. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of bad ones in between the original one and this one. Really bad ones. I heard <laughs> so that... This one, this one seems good. I heard that you used... What was the bad one? Just all the ones in between. I mean, they had a, they made a TV show that was all kinds of horrible. <laughs> and then they had a series where it was just like regular people playing those characters. I think, really? it's, called, I think it's called Mockingbird Lane. It's like, a, I don't know. I guess I can't say too much about that one because I just saw a preview for it and never watched it. But I heard that you use pig blood. In your guitar, is that true? Yep, sometimes. Yeah, I get it from a. I found this way back in the day. This meat packing plant down in Austin, Texas, and they sell blood. You're they sell puke. blood to, to cook with. Does or it make you put, puke? Putting guitars. Does it make you puke? A lot of times, yeah. It gets. Kind of chunky, hot and oh, chunky. <laughs> oh, dang. Did you see that Super Bowl commercial when it was like chunky milk? <laughs> that one? No. It was, oh, it was so gross. Now you just made it even worse with chunky blood. It's like <laughs> chunky. Yeah, chunky milk would probably be better. Chunk, yeah, definitely chunky milk, in my opinion. <laughs> How did you come up with that idea? Uh, I, don't know, I was just trying to come up with some cool guitar ideas, you know, and uh, a lot of people are saying, you can't do anything new with guitars. It's already all been done. And so I was like, really? I'm like, oh, I you know, so I just brainstormed a little bit and started coming up with some weird, weird stuff. <laughs> then went to Fernandez Guitars and gave them that idea and you know i'd go up there every night after they closed and we sit there and tinker around with plexiglass and different stuff trying to figure out how to do it and eventually made one that worked so this is basically so there's like saying just stop you already did enough with guitars just leave it alone you're like you know what just give me a couple days maybe a week I got yeah. some blood in my guitar. What do you think about that? Come on. Yeah, and then they're like, "Well, now." And then after that one, they're like, "Well, now, now that's it. Nothing more." And then I had a guitar wrapped in skin and got it tattooed. You can tattoo it. Wow, that sounds pretty cool, actually. And it's not up here. I'd show you. It's, it's not up here. That one right there. There's another the green one. Ah. Uh, that's yeah. a that's a you can fill that one with the blood also. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah. green and blood. Yep. Are you guys playing any shows this year? Uh they're trying to work on something for the end of October. And I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Maybe. What is it like touring after a pandemic? I don't know. I hadn't, I hadn't done it yet. 
<laughs> I hear it's uh, pretty, pretty terrible where the venues want people to bring their little card that shows they got a, a shot for the COVID or take a test before they'll let them in. I thought COVID was over. Yeah. Well, not that'll be the monkeypox. Oh yeah, the monkeypox. Yeah, that's a new thing. But I thought I heard it was only the way you could get it if you like did interact with that person a lot. The monkeypox. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even pay any attention to it. I don't want. I don't watch the news or to listen to other people talking about the news. Um. Do you, what is on your writer? Our writer? Yeah. There's nothing. There's, you know, some chips and drinks. <laughs> nothing. Nothing fancy. We usually stop and get our own stuff anyways. So you guys just go to a gas station and just get a bunch of chips and, like, snacks and stuff? Yep. Then, you know, hit a restaurant or something. What is life like on the road for you? I know it just it depends on what time of the day it is. <laughs> when when you catch me, early <laughs> today pretty boring. Later at night, kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> today boring. Later at night though, that can get some freaky stuff. Yeah, be careful. Really? <laughs> Does it also uh, imply in like certain areas where you got to be careful at night? Nah, eh, just everywhere. You have a ritual before you guys go on stage? No. 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 Usually they tell us an hour. You know, you got an hour before the show. And then they come back, you know, five minutes before and go, What are you doing still sitting here? Yeah, you you're not even ready. And then I get ready and run out there. <laughs> what is your favorite memory from playing a show? I don't, I don't have any favorite memories. What is your worst then? Yeah, I don't have any worst ones either. So you're just okay memories? You have okay memories? Yeah. I just, I just, I just go with the flow. Okay. I don't care, good, bad, whatever. Try, try to pay the bills. You know, I don't want to be too negative. What do you do on your downtime for fun? Work. Okay. <laughs> I don't do anything fun. Really? Just nothing uh, fun? Yeah, see, how old are you? 12? Uh, 11. 11? You'll see one day. Okay. You're having all the fun right now. <laughs> You're having a fun time talking to me, though. Yeah. See? Fun still I, applies. I guess I do have fun. See? What's next for you? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I say, I just go with the flow. You know, if they want to put a, if they want to put out an album or more individual songs or go on tour. Um, how do my followers follow you? Uh, just the usual, you know, Facebook, Scum of the Earth, Instagram, Scum of the Earth. You have some cool merch, bro. I've seen that. You have some cool merch. Ah, uh, thanks. You guys gonna have to hook me up with a signed poster? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Fun question time, okay? All right. You're on death row, and it's time for your final meal. What's on the menu? Like, see, like that's one of those questions where, again, at that point, I don't really care. Really? You don't want? You don't even want nothing to eat? Nah, you're about to die. May yeah, maybe some Jaeger, Jaegermeister. I'll eat some Jaegermeister before they put me out. <laughs>
Well, it's going to be your last meal that you'll ever taste. So it might want to be one of your favorite foods or maybe one of your favorite snacks. Yeah. Nah, see, I don't really have any favorite foods or favorite snacks. I guess my favorite snack is Jägermeister. If you don't, if they're not, um, also, if you don't want to eat anything, they're going to give you, like, a huge omelet of, like, hash browns and bacons and eggs. I'd turn it into a knife and stab them with it. <laughs> you would just, like... And then run away, and then they can't, then they can't kill me. You stab <laughs> them with the egg knife. You stab them with the omelet knife. And I, I'm not going down without a fight. If you could have any superpower, what would you choose? Hmm. Huh? Oh. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Just one? I wouldn't want one if I could only have one. I uh, picked the wrong one. Okay. All right. Well, let's just say you want to choose any song ever written by any band and you can change that song to where you wrote it and the one who wrote it and it was your song, what song would it be and why? Probably WAP. And then I'd do it and nobody would ever hear it and then I'd be doing everybody a favor. <laughs> so it just make it so low that nobody could understand it, just like... <laughs> like that probably that was it nailed it okay <laughs> well thank you for being on my show hope the next time we talk about the backstage of one of your shows dude it's been a pleasure talking to you hope to see you soon yeah you too yeah send over your address and i'll send you some some goodies thank you so much man i appreciate that all right man Peace. bye Peace.